We were looking at love triangle and we start with a song. I'm married to Jesus, Satan, leave me alone. I'm married to Jesus, Satan, leave me alone. My husband is coming to take me away from you to my everlasting home. <laughs> of course, uh, a love triangle, usually you have uh, these characters which makes the pot to thicken. Uh, usually you have the scheming husband, the trusting wife, and the other woman. And usually the other woman is more 14, very young girls you know, uh, that have wrapped the old man around their little finger. You know. And so you have a trusting wife back home that doesn't even know that the husband is cheating on her. But of course you can also have the reverse because now you also have you know, uh, the scheming wife a trusting husband, you know, and the other man, usually a toy boy or a bent. And usually these things don't help long, you know, uh, because sometimes you get a you know, scheming wife, you know, uh, plotting with the toy boy to get rid of the husband so that they can, you know, take away his insurance money or whatever that thing that is going to be done. Or sometimes, you know, the other woman, you know, uh, backstabs uh, the, the scheming husband, you know, but usually they don't end well. You know, in fact, I think famously somebody had said that there were three of us in this marriage, you know, and that causes a lot of problems. But we also have some parallels in scriptures. Uh, Genesis chapter 30, verse 1. This is a complaint from Rachel. And of course, to give a background to the story, Jacob had gone to his maternal uncle Laban, you know, who was also a scheming individual. And he knew that. Uh, Jacob was in love with Rachel, but he made a plan so that he would get married to Leah. And then, of course, eventually also gave him Rachel. So they were already three people in this relationship. And you can start to see some of the intrigues. Uh, Genesis 30, verse 1. Now, Rachel saw that she bore Jacob no children. Rachel, Rachel envied the sister and said to Jacob, Give me children or else I die. So you can start to see the triangle. Uh, Genesis 30, verse 14. Now, during the wheat harvest, Reuben went out and found some mandrakes in the field. When he brought them to his mother, Rachel begged Leah, Please give me some of your son's mandrakes. But Leah replied, Is it not enough that you have taken away my husband? Now you want to take my son's mandrakes as well. Very well said, Rachel. He may stick with you tonight in exchange for your son's mandrakes. So the man didn't even have a choice in the matter. These guys already made an arrangement who he was going to sleep with even before he gets back home from the field. You know, so these are the issues with, you know, when you have that kind of triangle, instead of sticking with uh, your partner. And the scriptures actually encourage us. You don't want three people in a relationship. You want two people because it's going to be crowded. First Corinthians chapter 7, verse 2. Nevertheless, because of sexual immorality, let each man have his own wife, and let each woman have her own husband. So stick with your partner. Be faithful with your partner. You don't want to have a love triangle. It, it doesn't usually end well. 